Steve, obviously, guys went in the fourth tied and a shot down the end. Just what, what fell apart down the stretch for you guys? They made some big shots. I mean, Ishmith uh, made a bunch of shots down the stretch. Um, you know, they made, we missed. You know, it was just, uh, I thought the guys worked really hard. Uh, I think JJ was a big miss for us tonight. Kind of the one guy that can really create separation off the dribble and, and facilitate offense for us. Um, we just couldn't really uh, get enough going offensively paint touches and and spraying the ball around and getting cleaner looks you know, we were just really small as well so I felt for them they worked they worked their butts off but uh you know probably a little fatigue and a little shorthanded so just going to the all-star break winning two of three you know Kevin closing in on a return etc where do you where do you stand on things going into this yeah no we're excited you know we uh we have 22 games to to kind of come together as a team with uh Kevin returning Ben returning um, you know, hopefully we get a, a good run of health where we can really build something in a short period of time and get to get a, you know, a better seed and also uh, more cohesion going into the playoffs. Patty had an explosive first half, but they kind of shut him down in that third quarter. What were you seeing out of them? I thought he did great. You know, it's, it's tough, you know, asking him to create a lot of stuff out there. And um, he's, he's played more minutes than he's ever played in his career uh, coming off an Olympics. Uh, sorry. Uh, what, are, what was Olympics? <laughs> uh, I was going to say World Championship Olympics. Um, you know, he's had a, you know, a big workload for us. And so I think uh, three games and four nights at the end of playing a ton of minutes, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot to ask. I thought he was great. Were you uh, just referring to kind of the big picture view of Kevin coming back and, and Ben starting, or do you have any kind of more clarity on when either of them might be fully practicing? No, I don't, I don't have any clarity. Kind of piggybacking off of that. I mean, you spoke yesterday about how Andre could be a significant part of the rotation, provided he can get in condition to play all those minutes. And now you're expecting at some point to bring Ben into the rotation. I imagine they're going to play together. Just how do you see that fitting given neither of them are floor spacers and in crunch time, both of them have struggled at the free throw line. Um, you know, I think that there's, um, there's ways that we can make it all fit together. You know, uh, there's, I think uh, they both bring a ton to the to the table, and uh, I think that there's ways that we can make them complement each other and the rest of the guys. So, you know, nothing is is you know we, we it wasn't ideal before we got those guys. So this I, we think has put us in a better position to to make the pieces fit, and, and now it's a matter of getting down to business uh, as a group. But that's what. I Yes, I, I, my money's on Patty as long as I didn't wear the legs off him all season so that he has nothing left in Cleveland. But uh, all things considered, my money's on Patty. Thanks, Steve. All right, thanks, guys. Enjoy your break.